literally Heading fog with the fog dog Straight to the top with the pace drop Pace too hot, you can't keep up When he heats up and takes the lead And all you see is Drake University So it's time to subscribe for the best alive And go stride for stride with the Batman pride It's Heading Fog coming at you with the top dog exclusive It's Heading Fog exclusive Two days out from the final one for the season, Zagreb, Croatia. 2K, I haven't raced a 2K since 2016 and I ran 5.39 in 2016. So hopefully we'll be in for quite a big PB. It's a really good field um, for the last one of the season and then get a bit of a break, going on holiday to Australia with Charlotte. So very much looking forward to that. Final little tiny tune up session today. I'm kind of mid warm up right now, just doing a few drills and stuff. The last mile, of warm up, a three mile warm up. The final mile is gonna be around six flat. Just pick it up a little bit. Um, and then five 200s. Can't get on a track today, which is a little bit annoying, but it's a really small session anyway. So just gonna go on the road, go on a path, um, put the flats on for five 200s with two minutes between them. So hopefully, yeah, just kind of spin the legs. Um, it's three days since Copenhagen 5K. Usually would kind of do a session three days out. We're two days out from racing again right now, but because of the in-between time between the 5K and the 2K, um, just took an extra day easy and now a tiny little session before racing a 2K on Sunday. Traveling tomorrow, should be good. <laughs> Final session of the season. Felt pretty good. It's always like a little bit weird doing quick stuff not on a track. It's hard to get the exact right spot for a 200, but I ended up doing the first one and I measured it a little bit in the warm up. Did the first one and then just went to the same spot every time. And I think it was round about 200, close enough. Good improvisation, really, though. Yeah, yeah. Gotta make it work. Gotta be able to be flexible in this sport. So, gonna jog for a few minutes now then flying out to Zagreb tomorrow, then 2K Sunday. Good field, really quite good field. The pacer is going 450, Mr. Rudolph, um, who is a very well-known pacer these days. He's paced quite a few diamond leagues and stuff. Um, this is not a diamond league, but it is a gold meet actually, which is kind of weird because it's a 2K and a 2K is very rarely run, but yeah, looking forward to it and feel like off that 5k, um, I think we went through 2k in 5.16 and so it's obviously a lot different to running 5k but I know I'm in relatively okay 1500 shape and then decent 5k shape so hopefully that translates well to a speedy 2k. I'm Wadam, do pobjede! I'm Wadam. <laughs> Take two, Greyhound bus Jan in Zagreb, Croatia. Back with the boys! 3.59 on the clock, we're leaving at 4.30. It's race day baby. 2K on deck, Jaziri with a little 3K steeple. Closing out the season, KC out in New York, fifth that mile. Yeah, you know, it's been a long season. Ready to rip one last one and have some fun. How's it going? Hello there, John. I'm very well, thanks. How are you feeling today? You ready for your race? Yeah, oh, so ready. Last one of the season. Very exciting. John's just in the shower. Feeling good. 2K tonight. Haven't raced a 2K since 2016. I actually have the slowest PB in the field because not many people have PBs. So, I'm um, a big, big PB today. So I am going to have the biggest PB in the field. Almost definitely. Yeah. Unless you unless you go out and like run 328 through the 15 like we talked about. Or and go then... out really hard, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. To get the standard. Yeah. When did you run a 2K? 2016. August, I think. Sometime in August 2016. Um, How old were you? 17. 5.39. I remember being really happy to keep it under 68. Um, but yeah, should be good. Good field. Last one of the season and then going to Australia in three days. 
That's so exciting. 58 is the pacing plan, 450 for the 2K, which is quick. That's 337.5 through 1500 and then another 500. So I think we're planning on being a little bit back. I'm going to the front and I'm pushing. Yeah, John's actually going to be in front of the pacer. Oh yeah. <laughs> Zagreb 2K, done and dusted, season over. It was actually almost two weeks ago. Going into it, I kind of knew I was in decent shape. I had a solid 5K five days beforehand, and I wanted to run pretty quick. It was meant to be, the pace was meant to be going 450, 225 per K, which sounded very aggressive, but straight away off the line, we were really quite slow compared to what the pace was meant to be. I think the leaders were 230 through the K um, and I was a little bit off that, but I, I kind of never really got into a good spot. I ran wide quite a lot, but I was able to move up into basically the equal lead. And I, I tried to hold that position, but with just over 500 to go, I got clipped a lot of times um, by the guy right behind me. And not that that's the reason to then kind of fade back a little bit, but um, then very quickly a big move was made coming up to the bell. And yeah, I just didn't really feel like I had the legs in that last lap. I still closed decently. I think I probably closed in 55 something, which isn't too bad, but it's not good enough to be up there with the leaders. So ended up eighth, 457, which is a solid 2K. Would have liked to have gone a little bit quicker. I think if it was a little bit quicker earlier on, everyone would have run a little bit quicker, but yeah, to be honest, I just didn't have it in the last lap. I was I was right there until kind of 500 to go and then just, yeah, didn't have it. Long season, I've been racing since December, Eurocross in December, um, trials for that were in November, then indoor started in January, um, and I've raced every month from, I guess November, um, at least one race every month from November. So yeah, it's been a long year. I had 
a full week off basically after Zagreb and me and Charlotte went to Australia, did a park run over there and then went to the Burt squad, which was good to get back to. Then we both got COVID, which seems to happen to me every year at this point, three years in a row. So had another kind of full week off basically. Flew back to England and I've now had three, four days back on the horse, as they say. So yeah, back into the swing of things. I'm back to America in five days. Looking forward to a big year ahead. Lots of big opportunities next year. Obviously, not an Olympic year next year, but um, yeah, there's Euro indoors, World indoors, World outdoors, um, Euro cross end of the year, which I may or may not be trying to qualify for again. We'll see. Um, but yeah, overall a really solid year. Did some things this year that I never thought I would do. And yeah, I mean, it's really good momentum going into next year. Solid year. I enjoyed my off season and now kind of getting back into the swing of things and looking forward to a big build up for hopefully an even bigger 2025. So should be good.